Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode I was going to do a few things, uh, but I've been very busy between episodes because it's been about a week actually between episodes. So here's got a list for episode 41, we're on episode 41 already. And I was going to upgrade the airship, and maybe I'll save that for another time. What I would like to do is the weather, because if you look to my left hand side here you'll see at least three nether wither skulls because I was building the nether mob farm. And I got quite a few at the same time. So let's have a look at that first of all. How many have I got there? Five. Which is enough for nearly all. No, almost enough for two, isn't it? Let's put this down there somewhere. So what have I got with me? I've got some red concrete because I'm putting that down in the nether. I've got certain weapons and stuff like that. But I've got to go and get some sandstone and whatever else. But she's already in the nether. But I think I would like to make sure I've got enough cobblestone. How much cobblestone have I got here? Three stacks. Let's go and get three stacks. Because what I'm doing with this is I'm turning these into slabs. I've got three already in here. So let's just move those now. Otherwise, I'll trundle off into that one. Let's look for the recipe of that. And let's click the button. Now we should be able to get the rest of those. Good. Put that back in there. So let's trundle off to the nether and see what I've been doing over there. So there's a couple of things I've been doing. I built the nether farm as I said already and have I got the right armor on? I think I have a quick check in a second when we get there. And I was finding a place where to, where to grind the, the wither. So what have we got? Uh, probably alright actually. I can keep the jelly slime one off the time being. There's quite a few zombie pigmen around here but that doesn't make much difference. And you'll see here I've been putting down the concrete and as you're walking down the concrete you go very very fast. And I'm only walking and not pressing control or anything like that. I'm just walking down there. So let's have a look. First of all, that's why I'm doing the concrete. I want to go to the uh, to the ocean monument because that's on my list of things to do. So I'm working hard on getting enough stuff ready for the ocean monument, and it takes quite a lot of stuff. Uh, wrong way. And I probably should put the concrete down here as well. It would be a um, quick way to get to the farm. <coughs> I think I've got with me some potion just in case. I probably will need it when I show you what the, f the thing's been doing. Because what I'm going to go and do is it, I've also been conditioning the nether. Now, what does that mean? Conditioning the nether basically means um, preparing it so mobs can't spawn. In other words, I've got all these slabs so I can put these slabs down. And then half slabs on the bottom half, which then means the top half is transparent and the mobs don't spawn there. So that's why I've been doing that. And I've just basically been putting down, I suppose, six stacks of those and then trundling back again because that's about eight minutes, which is the time it takes my potion to run out. Sometimes it's uh, fairly exciting, <laughs> especially if you, if you meet a weather skeleton. So we're nearly there now. How far have I got to go? With the 60, 60 blocks away. First of all, we'll check. See, because I made it nice and pretty up here. Well, pretty. <laughs> I'll put some steps. And this is the spot where I think I should be for doing that. It should be about 28 blocks from the withers. So let's go and have a look down here and see if there shouldn't be anything in the in the absorption hopper. No, nope, there's nothing there. Oh, there's one. Just got that was um uh -huh. so you must have a look at that while I'm here. Yeah, we've got four magna creams just in that time. So if I look on this one here, what I've got in it is um 10 looting upgrades and 7 beheading upgrades. I probably could increase that a bit more uh, to another 3. It's only ever with the skeletons that we actually do need. And it's very simple. I can show you the design on this. The same one as I've done in the previous, um, in the more farm in the base here. Now, this is where I show, I'll click this one and then we've got. 10 more farm fan upgrades and 3 width upgrades. So if you show it the area, you can see it's going right up down to those um, uh, conveyor belts. And the next one along here, press the scope, go down here. This one has got um, 2 upgrades because that's just doing the path. So if I show the area of this one, you'll see that just does the path. But it goes up to the other end of that one again. So let's turn that one off again. And the last one of these 3 is this one, which has got the same. Uh, pattern as the first one so it's got 10 fan length ones and 3 width ones so that basically does a 7 area down here by around about 
I'm not actually sure what he does here though. I should have measured it, shouldn't I? Let's measure it. And then the last one's here. And this one's got two upgrades and it's uh, 10 long. Let's look at that. Now I think, yeah, there's actually four blocks from here to here. So the other the other one is actually going through the wall there. And that's going up to the conveyor belts as well, the, the belts for to move the mobs and these, but then they just get pushed against the, the masher. And that's as simple as that. So what I've been doing, and we're going along here, looks like a lot of bits of lag every once in a while. You see, I've already done this bit here, so no mobs are spawned. So if I go shift and H, I should have a potion in here. I've got a potion, good. Yeah, we'll drink that. So now I've got eight minutes in which to go and put some um, slabs down. And as you can see, I've been busy slapping up th certain areas over here. Um, let's just get to him. Oops, press the right button. So I don't get some money. Let me get rid of him as well. There are quite a few um, magnets coming around, don't I? I don't usually see those, to be honest with you. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Good. So what I'm going to do now is slab off this area, pick up the pick up the residue. Oops! Oh, little one got me then. Now, right, let's just uh, dig that up. Oh, that was good. That was lucky. Oh no, I did three. That's why. So I'm basically just going around, putting down slabs everywhere. Let's dig this one up as well. Yeah, that's not that's more normal. And that one is actually not high enough to get me out of there. Let's put another slab on that, and I should have been able to get out of that. So, I don't think I'm going to bother recording all of this, but this is what I've been doing. And while I've been doing this, the mobs are actually spawning in the um, in that mob grinder. So I'll see you in a few seconds when I've finished putting these stuff down. Right, that's it. Let's go back now and have a look at... There's quite a few... Blazers just to my right hand side. Let's go and see what we've actually got for loot from the, you see I've done this area now. I've got this area slabbed off. I need to slab off at the back over there obviously. And there is another option I could do. Let's get rid of this guy over here. Let's see if he's dropped anything. You never know, we might get lucky. What did I pick up? Some dust. You see I'm I haven't finished, it's got a lot of work to do to get this properly conditioned, ready for the mob farm, but um, it got to be 128 blocks away or something like that, haven't I? 120 blocks away from this thing. But being here, just doing this actually, yeah, it does allow them to spawn. So let's have a look, see what, how well we've done. If I don't like off too much, that is. And usually I've got oh, quite a few bits and pieces when I've been and done this. So far, anyway. So look. So what have we got then? No skulls this time. We got a bone. So there obviously was a uh, some wither skeletons there, and some take it all. So we got some magma creams, some green lotions from Natura, forty-three <laughs> blaze rods. So it's working fairly nicely. And of course the XP went up a bit. And I have actually offset the this uh, the hopper so it doesn't pick up everything behind me. So it'll go and do that whole area over there. She's quite nice. So let's go and now turn that off. Don't like that. I don't like them on. She's a bit distracting. You see funny colours somewhere in places. So in this chest here, I've just got some netherrack stuff on a table. So if I want to do a thing when I'm busy, I'll do that then. Now I have got enough bits and pieces with me as it happens to um to do a few uh, to do a few withers. At least one wither. Which is what, what I would like to demonstrate today. And that won't take too long at all. So we've got to go back up the ladders and then at position minus 31, 0. Well, I think it's 0 for the X and minus 31 on the Z. We'll see in a second. There's a special place, which is a 3x3 three three, um, bedrock area. That's at the top, of course, of the nether. And then you can basically grind the wither in there. And this still works in version 12.2. 
which is good because it's fairly easy and painless way of getting with the skill uh, with the nether stars so how far have we got to go now ladders should be just around the corner here as long as I haven't gone past some of those no no here we are quite a few zombie pigmen but I think we're out of range now of the uh, of the farm of the mob farm so it's not so useful for the mobs working up here doesn't help that much it might do below but just here doesn't anyway Is there anything around other than zombie pigment no good so in this chest here I've got some seven so let's just take three of these and four sand still sand that'll do fine let's go down here one of our arms will go through me out to walk through good and here is the space so it's a little bit further down here not very much what's our distance now so z is so it is x zero and z is minus 31 and that's basically this spot here and if you look up, there's a 3x3 three three bedrock area here like this. So all we have to do is to put down some salt sand. And we can do this now, at least in this version, like this. So we can come along here like this. And Oops, missed. Try again. <laughs> I'm too near, aren't I? And then we can put down the wither sk the skulls. Just stand back a bit. Or oh, maybe we don't need to actually He'll stand here. He'll give me a bash and I'll probably take a bit of damage, but you can see he's in the he's in the he's in the sky there. He's got his head in the, the bedrock. Oh, there he is. So all I need to do now is attack him. It's a bit loud. So what happens I go down to about half and then the regeneration is actually much more effective. So it's probably better to take this pick and just jump. If I'm jumping with this pick, it seems to go down a lot faster. And that was one of the tricks that I saw in one of the videos I was watching to make sure this still worked. And I didn't see any for 12 too, but yeah, there he is. So we have our first nether star, how about that then? He also drops quite a few ash, I think, if I remember, quark ash. Not that quark ash has got any uses that I've found. So there we are. I don't need to repeat that. I'll do some war in my own time, I think. Uh, there's plenty of soul sand down this path, and I'm going to extend it with some concrete. I probably should extend this as well. You see, just down here. I've been, I've been knocking this stuff off like, like this, but it's got to be careful, of course. I can just walk down here, of course, and then go down straight straight away um, unfortunately I've got some of those cooling coils in the way of this one what I probably should do is to get my um well, I actually don't think it's gonna make much difference uh, the builders want for this stuff anyway so you can go put it down like this and then when we got this set up we'll go very very fast to the other to where the ocean monument is and that's quite a few blocks away this is actually a Minecraft component as well, I didn't realise that. Concrete, I thought it was with other mods, but it's obviously a newish thing in Minecraft. I don't remember it before, before. but then again, I don't play much vanilla Minecraft. Like that. And I'm just pressing the, the walk and button, so as you can see, it won't take too long to get around there. Don't tempt me to do the work. No, I won't bother. <laughs> Very tempting. I should tell you what, before we go there let's just put this concrete away in here like that and let's take out the back to the base Oops, if I can get in that is now it is summer time I think that's so this is one of the reasons I've been doing the ocean monument is this, how has he got in here honestly it's more than more isn't it? where's the other one all right got him no. I wonder how they got through. 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. I took a bit of damage that. No, didn't I? Never mind. So let's have a look at this list now. Let's get rid of this stuff that I've got on me. It is actually useful to keep your bits and pieces. So I'm keeping these golden swords because with the golden swords, one of the uses is that is um, a cheap bit of crafting recipe. Oh, I'll go and get a nugget of gold, which isn't exactly what I meant. I thought there was a, a crafting recipe for this. Ah, oh, we can put that in there. That'll give us two back. Is it not? I thought it was part of mob. Let's have a quick look. But one of these was the smite one. Oh, it's iron swords. Okay, that's what I was getting confused with. The beheading one, which is gold helmets. Okay, so we can wait till we get the art furnace and just put those through there, and that'll give us two ingots of gold for each one. And as you can see, I've got 64 in there, and I've also got 60 in here. So now I've got yeah, plenty of blaze rods. So that's blaze rods, no more problem. I was going to do the airship. I think I'm not going to do that this time. Let's have a look at what else I've got on my list. Ah yes, this one. Logwood light. I happen to notice misread the recipe and I saw these things here. These are dark oak log lights. And they're actually lights. So let's go and take one who need an axe. Let's get my axe out. This is actually an interesting one. This is from Ferdinand's Flowers. So if you look at Ferdinand's Flowers. Get rid of that one. And you go to the second. We've still got these different types of glasses and things like that. But if you go to the second page, you see you've got all of these here. Pink dyed glass. No, not that one. Birthday cake. No. Stone lights. Anthracite lights, smooth anthracite lights, and so on and so forth. And you've got jungle log lights, and dark oak, and spruce log, and birch logs, and they're very simple recipes. You can even do it with planks as well. Uh, but those are obviously just the Minecraft ones. Even iron block lights, chiseled stone block lights. What you do, and this is dead easy, let's just take something I've got in here. Cobblestone layers, probably not because that's chisel, it's probably got to be a Minecraft block. How about some mossy block lights? Yes, they all work by the looks of it. Six of those. Let's go and get six torches. Probably haven't got six torches. I think it makes two, doesn't take each one of those. Let's, just, let's put that away. So we have eight. I need to craft those together with the mossy stone. I think it's, yeah, it's shapeless crafting, so we should click those off. And then the others I'd put in something else. And then if you, can, you can just put these down, just like an ordinary block, and it's light. So what we'll do is we'll wait till night time and put them down then. So that's uh, what that was all about. Bees. Well, I've been busy with my bees. I know that people get really bored with bees, but they are quite fun to do. So I was a bit lucky. It took me uh, something like 30 generations to get the first... Um, common drone so now i've got a common drone and they're making lots of sorry common princess and common drone so it took about quite a long time to get those and then in this in the very next generation i got um, the cultivated ones so here we've got a cultivated queen ignoble stock and 64 drones and in here i've got another princess so i want to just and if you look here you've got these different types of drones and the first one is the one that's actually interesting. So let's take that one out of there. With the common princess. In fact, what I would actually need is, is drones. So I'll have a look at those and get the... Now, where have I put it? Oh, and that's an interesting challenge for me. I'm not sure where I've put the... Oh, I know where I have done it, yes. I do know. I'll put it in a little chest here because when I'm going to the Ocean Monument there's certain things I don't want to take with me and certain things I do so the bee stuff I don't want to take with me let's put this in another star somewhere that we can see it let's put it on a on a frame huh? 
Have we got any up here that I can use that are free? No, I'll have to put it over here. Oh, that's a bit boring now. Let's put it higher up. There we go. That's, that lava makes the fly that all the time. Uh, what have I got in here that I don't need? Can I get rid of this bone somewhere? I've got a place where I'm keeping them. I've just forgotten where it is for the time being. Ah, oh, yes. Ooh, diamond boots. Got some diamond boots now. Okay. But I also got another backpack. So also on my list here. And in the backpack there was some diamond iron ore. So let's go and take that and give that a little work out and put that through the system. I don't think there's anything else. There was some chickens and some cooked fish. Should I take the key? cooked fish with me as it happens and potions of healing which are pretty good they're quite useful I might have to use those when they go to the ocean monument so let's go and shove these in there in here if I do one stack at a time I'm happy it doesn't it doesn't break anything so we just shove in one less than one stack will be fine it'll just make one stack's worth it so we'll get 22 iron ingots out of here in fact I probably better go to the chest and remove I've got two stacks yes Let's just remove those. There's nothing else in there, is there that belongs to. Let's just remove those out of that. And I can't. Yes, I can just. Of course, my inventory is completely full again. Now, one thing I have done is I've upgraded. Have a look over here. I've upgraded um, Pollution of the Realm. At Realms. And it's made a big difference. Because one of the changes that he's done is he's, he's made the these blocks move. So if we look in the sky we should see there you go that was some blocks over here just moving around a little bit and what happens now is that the sulfur will make pod soil underneath it of course as it as it does anyway but it then moves in a way and after two i think two and a half moves or something like that um you see those one just disappeared that was one of the carbon blocks because it causes the grass to grow and, you see, and this one here which, when the sulfur block moves which it will do it will make another pod soil and may disappear so that's getting rid of all of these sulfur blocks as well so all you have to then do is dig up this you see this wasn't here at all before this is all minecraft flowers and i cleared this area off at least once and as the as the pollution make comes along it basically gets rid of the makes more grass and plants and things flowers so that's what that's for let's go and get rid of this stuff though can't i filling up my inventory here Hmm. Right, I was doing bee breeding, wasn't I? I was going to analyse these bees that I've got over here. So we want the analyzer. I've got 37 charges, that's plenty. So let's have a look at this queen bee here. So it's cultivated, pure cultivated. It's got the shortest life, which is great for breeding, because that means you don't have to wait so long for the next generation. It's got three it's producing three drones each time, which is also means you've got a good chance of getting the next generation fairly quickly. Uh, and the rest of its average is fairly okay; it doesn't make much difference at the moment. And it does produce a reasonable amount, a reasonable amount of uh, uh, bees. And this was the same one. This is the drone that it was been making from those. And also the common drones here have got the same thing. This has only got two, but the ones in the hive. The crossbreeding hive. Now, the crossbreeding hive is the one I do manually. Is this one? I've put in it some enchant. I went to the village, and I basically got some proven frames. So let's just get these out of here. Like, I can't do that one. That's in my hand. Can I? Let's get these out of here, and let's get these bees out of here as well, and have a quick look at these bees. But I think I could have done those in there because they have been analysed and this one's given me three drones for each cross which is great so what we want basically so now if I put this princess in here and these there we hope we get a reason oops a little before I do that let's go and repair these proven frames before I've because I've got plenty of XP on and I want to get rid of some of this XP Now, they, they have to be in my hand or in my off hand. So what we'll do is we'll put this as a damaged a bit, so I'll put that off and then like this. 
So I'll put one of these in my off hand and hold the other one like that and turn this on. And you can see them juggling up and down, which basically means they've been repaired like that. So we can then swap this one over. I'm not sure which one went fastest, but the arm has also been repaired. So we can put that one back on again and then do that again. Yeah, there we go. We just stand on this, get rid of some of my XP because I picked up a load. I was at level 35, so I should be a little bit less because we've repaired these now, hopefully. But there's obviously not going to be enough to get this to completely get rid of all of these things. Now these are proven frames, the ones I've got, which you get from trades. So if you look at the recipe for those, you basically can only get them from village at trades level two, from Aprist. And there is a village not too far away that does that. So if we have a look at the map, I so said, come on, this is going down. It's, it's a night map. We want the day map because we can't see anything. The village where the bee, where they are, is actually quite near to what I keep calling the new base. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it a new base. I'm not hardly ever going there. This, so it's Luzana, I think it's Brad. There's an Apris there. I haven't found any others at the moment. And I have found quite a few bases around here. Some mobs over there. But they'll be underground. So you see I've gone down to 34 now. So let's go back over here. Now it's coming to night time. Great, we can demonstrate these wood lights. So for instance, let's put these two bees in here like that. Where are they? The common ones I wanted. Let's put these in first of all. The other one's in my offhand, isn't it? Take it out and put it in here. And then we put those drones back in again. It won't breed because it's because it's night time. So it's not it's not going to work. But let's put down for example one of these. I've got this dark oak light here. Let's put it down here. And as you can see it's lit in, it's lit up this area. And it's the same is true for these the stone ones which I did here. So we could take these stone ones out of here. I'll put them down somewhere. Doesn't matter where it lights up the area nicely. Which is quite good isn't it? Quite like, I quite like those. I haven't seen them before. Obviously, they're not going to produce any pollution either. So that's another great thing about those. Ah, now you'll see I've done some more rustic stuff. But what I'm going to do with rustic is I think I'll dedicate a, a, an episode just to rustic because it's it's interesting. It's it's really a, a, an early game brewing mechanism because this this advanced chemi alchemical condenser didn't need very much. It just needed a netherrack so you didn't need any blaze rods and here are some of the plants there might be most of the plants are found here now uh, I'm not 100% sure but I think certainly a lot of those plants are are going to be well, I must have got most of them I will have a look at that in another episode anyway the next episode I think I'm going to go and do the iceberg airship it's night now at 10 so what I'll do is I'll disappear off come back in a few seconds right another morning as you can see 18 minutes past uh, oops that was the wrong way <laughs> i didn't mean to do that what we're going to have a look at now is i've got on my thing slime island uh, slime farm but first of all let's go and have a look at the other the multi farm because i would that's where i'd be making concrete by the way so the multi farm i i changed it to make pumpkins so in here I've got a lot of pumpkins, I think. Not in there. Where are they now? They'll be in here. Stacks. So I've already got quite a few stacks of this in the other in the other. So I'm not running it anymore. Well, probably is running in fact, because it's difficult to stop those unless you take out the um, fertilizer. The other thing I've been doing here is I'm starting to build another small tree. So it does look as I'm not going to be bothering to move, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. But what I'd like to do is to put maybe a, a greenhouse on top of this and then pipe the, the carbon into here and put filters onto that to filter out the, the sulphur. And the carbon will then make these things, whatever I'm growing in this farm, grow a lot faster. So that's that one. And the last of my horses over there. Look. Ha. He disappeared. He, he broke off his lead and that was and that. Was that. So the last place, and you can see here's lots of grass. So there must have been a lot of pollution above. They're all gone now, of course. And some here as well. If you stand underneath there, look straight up, it's gone. So we can safely dig these up, put them down again. 
and then they won't turn into pod soil. So what I want to do now is have a quick look at the slime farm because it's, it's, a, it's the same design as everything else. But we can look at those bees when they come back as well. Um, the only difference is it's very long. And in fact, it's longer than I'd like it to be in terms of um, a, far, a mob farm. But it's because it's a double chunk down here. So we'll look what we've got in here. Two stacks, 56 slime balls. So it is working fairly well. So the only difference is, you can see here I've got all of these. And it's the same design as I said before. At the back of this I've got these. So it's got, it's actually not maxed out. So it's got 2 by 8 and the reason it's for 8 is it allows it to go down to 3 blocks from the other side. Same with this one, this is 3 by 8 because that was the end one of course. And you can see in here what's going on. And on the other end here, where we're pushing the, so we push the mobs down. So this should probably be 1, yes it's 1 wide by 10 max length. And then the next one was the hardest bit, which is actually underneath here, which we can't quite see. So all I have to do is break it off a bit, I think. Let's just take this one and break away this. So we should be able to see. I want to just see this one. So what we've got here is we've got a height upgrade. So if I show the area of this, as you can see, it's blowing up one high. So what it's doing is it's allowing things to go. So if you look down there, there's a channel. And I have to have that channel. But that's fine. It doesn't seem to cause any problems with the mob. So let's put this back again things off at the moment and they put it back on again we want to put that leave and turn it on again and that redstone will keep that fan going hopefully I did turn it off so that brings it right down to this oh, I didn't turn it off and then the last four bits which you can't see I can't go in here unfortunately uh, because I get pushed against the mob farm I've got to go and turn that off um, but I'll do that another time it's not urgent to do that now is it so that's the slime mob farm and it's doing very nicely because it's in range of base base is there so 53 blocks away it's base as long as I keep this area reasonably clear as so obviously you can see from the minimap there are places for mobs to spawn but they will spawn from time to time right until next time next time hopefully we'll be doing some rustic stuff uh, between it, I'm going to have a, probably another week before I, be, I can make the next episode. So what I'll be doing is uh, looking more into the Ocean Monument and seeing how I, I can actually conquer the Ocean Monument. <laughs> I think it's quite hard to, to conquer the Ocean Monument, but I would like some sponges. Anyway, next time we'll be doing some rustic, and the time after that we'll probably be doing some airship stuff. So until then, bye for now.